the echo of Tammy's ghost. News, Volume 8 Local Girl Has Gone Missing A local girl by the name of Tammy Smith had gone missing. The police are still trying to find the missing girl. It is not known whether she was kidnapped or not, but her family suspects that she's just gotten lost in the woods and she will be okay. Local Girl Has Gone Missing If you see this person anywhere, Please contact your local police department immediately or call 124-345-232. It would be of great help. The life of this girl could depend on you. My best friend Amy had a little sister. Her name was Tessa and she disappeared. It had been just a regular night. It had gotten late. Nothing out of the ordinary, that is, until the mother had felt a draft in the house. She had, she got downstairs to investigate and saw the front door wide open. Tessa, her daughter, had vanished. No clues, no evidence, nothing. As if she vanished into thin air. Initially, it was suspected that the girl had been kidnapped but the family would always keep the house locked and the girls were smart enough not to open the door to strangers. Tessa was the kind of girl who would help animals. She would constantly hear some poor helpless animal in the forest crying for help, injured, alone. Everyone thought that she had ventured into the wild and had gotten lost. Her selflessness ended up being her demise. No, that can't be. There's more to this story, more to be uncovered. The forest was right next to her house. We'd play outside there when we were children. She knew the forest like the back of her hand. We both did. Her sister, too. Months passed with no real progress on the case, and Tessa's parents went missing, too. Not Just not in the same way as her daughter. Because of the guilt the couple was feeling, they had started drinking too much, and they had started sleeping incessantly. I don't even want to imagine what the poor must have been going through. <clears throat> Local gardener finds missing girl down the river. Local gardener fins. Geschreiben von Martina Anders. Local gardener claims to have found the body of a dead girl that had gone missing months before in the river. He says that he had gone fishing and had noticed something strange in the waters. After inspecting, he says he noticed that it was a body, and after he noticed, he immediately called the police. The body had been sitting there for a few months, according to the autopsy. A few months pass, a few months after her disappearance, Tessa was found by Jack, a local gardener a few miles down the river. He had gone fishing. Identifying her body was not an easy task, and even after her autopsy, people were not sure what had happened to her. Well, at least they now have closure, said everyone. But no, Tessa's sister, Amy, did not see it that way. Amy called me, sobbing and choking on her breath. I think Tessie's still alive. I heard her crying last night, outside the woods, but nobody believes me. 
Tessa's gone. No, she's not. Come here and I'll and you'll hear it too. I agreed to sleep at Amy's house that night. I also decided to bring my dog for protection, just in case. We had an idea. If we could talk to her, what if we could talk to her using otherworldly means, using a Ouija board? I know that it was stupid and we shouldn't have thought about messing with stuff like that. And I also know that studies show that the only reason this stuff works is because we subconsciously move dependent. Because we expect it to, well, move. But Amy was desperate. And to be honest, I was too. It didn't take long for us to create a Ouija board. It was pretty simple after all. Pen, paper, and a cup. We started with, a regular, with the regular questions. Is anyone here? Are there any ghosts around us? I don't think you're supposed to be using that term. What do you mean? You need to say spirits. It's more respectful that way. I don't think that Tammy would mind. Right, Tammy? Tammy, are you here with us? I don't think this is gonna work. Did you hear that? I heard it. See? Tammy is here. Amy, I think it was just the wind. No, it wasn't. Why is it so hard to believe that Tammy is among us? 30 minutes pass. Amy, it's been half an hour. Maybe we should stop. Amy? Yeah? This isn't gonna do anything. Wow, her reaction was unexpected. Since we were both tired, we decided to go to, to go to bed. We both ended up falling asleep with our fingers tangled in my dog's warm fur. Not ending the game properly. <laughs> Something woke us up a few hours later. We could hear a voice outside. Even though the words were indecipherable, it was obvious that it was Tessa. Was it her ghost? I'm not ready to face something like that. My hands shook as I pulled on my shoes. As soon as Amy opens the door, my dog bursts out of the house, barking like a maniac. We had no other choice but to follow him into the woods. We searched for a while, but there was no sign of Tessa. Your dumb dog chased her away. You can see tears running down the poor girl's face. Try to calm her down. I'm sorry, Amy. I pulled Amy into a hug. She was here. She was here. I could sense it. <laughs> huh? Did you hear that? Hear what? I heard something. Is it Tessa? Tessa! Sis! Is that you? Uh, are you here? Amy, wait! It could be an animal. Or something worse. Hey, girls. Jack, the gardener. What was he doing here? Hey, Jack. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just on the search for some herbs. Trying to expand my garden. Oh, that's cool, I guess. And what are you doing here? Oh, we're just trying to enjoy nature. I took a few steps back, startled by the gardener, and tripped on something. A duffel bag. 
I had no other choice but to look inside. I didn't really want to do that, but I know that my curiosity would have eaten my sanity away. What I found inside... I found... I found duct tape, plastic zip tie handcuffs, a garden knife, and worst of all, a tape recorder. I pushed the play button and heard Tessa's voice crying and screaming for Amy to save her and begging someone to let her go. Wait, who put this here? The gardener! Out of the blue, out of the blue, he flew at us. I guess he realized that I had understood that it was him that put this there. That it was him all along. She shot him. Amy shot the gardener. So, it was you all along, wasn't it? I knew it. I knew it all along. A gardener, fishing, for there are no fish. But the police just didn't care. They turned a blind eye to this man. Oh well. Doesn't matter now. Tammy can finally rest in peace now. She has her revenge. Amy, where did you get that gun from? I got it from my father's nightstand. I knew something was off, so I took my dad's gun out of the nightstand and went outside. I wanted to believe it was Tammy. I wanted to believe that bad. But deep down, I knew it wasn't. Now, my sister has her revenge. Local Gardener, Gone Missing, Daily Newspaper, May 19th, 2022. Local gardener, gone. No traces left behind. A gardener at the age of 57 years old has gone missing. The gardener was a beloved person in his town. He was known to be a good person with a good heart. It is not known how he went missing. Nobody has seen this man in a week. That is, This is not the first missing person case in this town. There was a girl that had gone missing over a year ago and was found by this gardener, whose body was surprisingly found a few months after her disappearance by the same person. Whether the two cases are related or not is unknown. Believed to have seen the girls somewhere? If you believe to have seen the missing person somewhere, please contact, please contact your local police department immediately. Or call 123-123-123. Your help will be greatly appreciated. Hey guys, it's me, Gene, your reader, and I really appreciate you guys watching that video. And um, if you guys like the video, please leave a like or subscribe or comment. Uh, as someone who's just starting out, it I it would really help me a lot. And also, I would be reading. I will be doing a reading of most of the Spooktober submissions this year. So. Uh, look out for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!